Um, now, in truth, the object of the association was to raise funds for elections, correct? Uh, the object of the association was, or the purpose of the association was, as I described it earlier, to uh, regularise arrangements between a team of officials who were intending to run in union elections and, and to enable them to fundraise to support their campaign. Well, the, the, the reason the association was being set up was to uh, facilitate fundraising by those um, officials, uh, and in particular to facilitate the creation of account into which funds so raised could be collected, correct? Uh, in, uh, that's uh, correct with the addition of the discussion we had earlier. Um, and when we went to a section of my discussion with uh, Mr Gordon and Mr Shaw, that it uh, also uh, meant people turned their mind to questions like what would happen if there was a division between the team of officials who had been contributors to the election fund. None of those matters are set out in um, subsection 1 of paragraph 3 of the rules, are they? These objects are very broadly drawn, that's true. Well, it is correct that none of the matters to which you've made reference are set out in paragraph 3. That's right. I think the uh, matters in paragraph 3 are broadly drawn uh, and what we've discussed fits beneath them. And into which subparagraph do you say, um, or which subparagraph do you say captures the matters that we've discussed? Oh, for example, Mr Stolger, I'd say subparagraph F. The only one. The, the, Mr. Stolder, the objects are broadly drawn um, about uh, promotion of uh, change in workplaces, the sort of things that a team of officials might work, uh, be uh, promising in a campaign for election. Why not just say squarely what the object was? Raise funds for elections. Uh, because in the discussion we've just had, Mr Stolger, I thought that there were other reasons for incorporating an association. Well, that was one of them. Uh, yes, one of them. Uh, why not, why not in, so? in accordance with uh, supporting a team of officials, or a team, I'm using the terminology officials, which assumes people are already elected. Um, these, uh, in terms of this association, I was dealing with people who were already elected, uh, but more broadly. Uh, for uh, such associations, it could be a reform group that's seeking election or a team of officials who are seeking re-election. But uh, why not just say what the objects were in the paragraph dealing with objects? The object was, as, as I think we've been discussing, to, to raise funds for elections, for, for elections and to operate an account where those funds could be collected. Why not just say that? Oh, Mr Stolger, at the time I obviously thought it should be broadly drawn and go to the types of things that might be uh, issues that officials came together to campaign on. Well, it, gives a, it gives no clear understanding of what the objects of the association in truth are, paragraph 3, that's right. Well, Mr Stolger, I wouldn't agree with that and I'd remind you uh, that my instructions about this matter coming from Mr Wilson and Mr Blewett uh, were clear that they were um, part of a team that had come together, uh, that had taken over control of the Western Australian branch. At some point in the future they would face an election. Uh, they obviously wanted uh, their team to contend in that election and win in that election. Uh, so I drew the objects broadly, trying to capture all matters that might be relevant to that. Mr Stolger, uh, this is a convenient time. Yes, Commissioner. Uh, hearing opportunity, but 10 minutes.